we've established that this government had a a structural favoritism for McKinsey in terms of their contracting. Uh, that, now that exists in a context where, and when we've discussed it at this committee, uh, some of the the real horrific abuses that have happened at the hands of of McKinsey. Uh, Advice related to supercharging the opioid crisis, uh, advice on uh, on how to um, on how to identify influential dissidents uh, of the the Saudi regime, uh, some of the uh, state owned companies in the PRC that McKinsey did work for, uh, continuing uh, work uh, for the government of Russia following the initial invasion of Ukraine in 2014, uh, advising uh, employees about not participating, for instance, in pro-democracy activities in Russia. So there's many of these different issues. And so I'm, I'm grappling with this reality of, of deeply unethical behavior by McKinsey, and at the same time, how they were favored by the government of Canada. Did you look at all at sort of the relationship between uh, ethical conduct and favoritism for a company, it's one thing. It's one thing for a company uh, for for decisions to be made about a company being excluded or not, and it's a whole another thing about the company that that the company that behaves in the way McKinsey does, actually being favored by the government of Canada. So, Mr. Chair, uh, none of the lines of inquiry actually looked at the ethical behaviors of McKinsey. Uh, 